It's the end of the night. It is January 2nd, 2021. Kevin McGarry, founder of Every Black Life Matters here, and I am giving you an update of an incredible day. Today I had an opportunity to have a prayer rally with Dr. Alveda King. She's a national treasure, just a mighty woman of God, just an awesome woman. And we actually had a prayer about the election here in Georgia that's taking place here over the next couple of days. That was an incredible rally. We had many, uh, several people out there with us. And from that rally, we actually uh, prayed for the protection, for the safety, for the, um, for the legal votes that will be taking place here in Georgia. Uh, as you know, there was uh, all kinds of threats of violence here over the next few days. And we were just praying over the city and praying over the state that those things don't happen. So uh, we had that prayer rally. And from there, we actually took your letters, letters written to Ralph Warnock, an open letter that I wrote and then subsequently signed by no doubt you, great citizens of the United States across all states, uh, several hundred uh, actually signed that open letter. And I took that letter to Ralph Warnock's office. So we went right from the prayer rally directly up the street to Ralph Warnock's office and delivered that, that letter along with all of the signatures and tremendous comments. Fundamentally, the comments were not nasty or, or biting. Uh, the comments were really comments of prayer for Warnock that he would actually get his life and his theology in order and that he would actually begin to walk and to live the life uh, that he asserts that he lives, the life of a civil rights activist, the life of a pastor, the life of, of, of a anti-racist. Um, so anyway, it, wonderful comments. So thank you for that delivered that and then I went and we went to another prayer rally and walked around the state capitol here in Atlanta uh, with uh, Jim Garlow and many other pastors, ministers and bishops um, uh, uh, over there. And uh, so we walked around the capitol seven times praying and petitioning God, asking God to have mercy upon this state, have mercy upon our nation and our union and uh, throughout the nation and to actually unify us, bridge us again and unify us as, as people, uh, people of God, people of America, uh, one blood. Um, just, you know, we just prayed that uh, really God's will will be done in these upcoming elections and in the results of the presidential election that hopefully we'll be finished with here in the not too distant future. So I just wanted to give you this quick update. I wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for your prayers, for your participation. Thank you so much for your support, your encouragement. Thank you so much for, uh, for praying with me and unifying with me on praying for this country and this nation. Right now, we need it. Right now, our president needs it. Right now, even the president-elect uh, and the vice president-elect need it. Uh, this, this country needs us to pray. So thank you for, uh, for being a, a, a supporter and a prayer warrior with me and petitioning God together. And uh, so I hope this video finds you well. Let's be encouraged. We are on the front lines of a real remnant rising here in 2021. This is, uh, for such a time as this, this is an incredible season to have been born and to know that God placed us in the earth to participate in the in the earth at this time in this in this season and for such a time as this so let's 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 not run away or shrink away from this time or begrudge this time let's embrace it say thank you this is a wonderful time to be alive and it's wonderful to have friends like you who uh who are unified with me as we come together and pray for this country so god bless you thank you again Happy 2021. This will be a time to remember. God bless you.